Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of the Seattle Kraken Franchise Mode here on Zucker TV and NHL 21. Um, to start off this episode, uh, it's one of the first times when we're a bit all the way into this, uh, a bit of the ways into the season where I can finally say this, that we are losing. Um, 18 games into the season, we have a losing record. Now we've had have a losing record in the past when I start episodes, I mean, it's ever been like if we're starting the season, we've gone over 2 or... One and three, or whatever you know what I mean. But uh, last episode, this white sweater ain't working. Look, it's it's disappearing. Uh, last episode was not good ending to it at all. I'm in class. This dude is in class. I mean, I just actually just had a class an hour ago, so the green screen ain't gonna be really too friendly with my uh, white sweater here. But we're gonna try and play it out. Uh, but no, we are losing. And so the idea at the end of the last episode was fire the head coach and that's exactly what we did we fired our head coach who gave us two great seasons uh is he still on the list here yeah there he is we fired mr bernard belanger he had a 99 he was one more away from 100 with this team 99 63 and 18 uh and with us he was 5 10 and 1 but like going back to the other two seasons that's what happens when you, when you like, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. So who we picked up? We picked up Mr. Bruce Evans, who's also four wins away from 100. Do you do, you do online or real? Huh? Oh, in class? Oh, I have both, actually. Um, he's more of a forwards coach, uh, and he's already won his first game with us at the end of the last episode, but he is also coming off a very awful start of the year with Pittsburgh, 1-7-1 before he got fired. And it's the same situation. Two good years with Edmonton. Then he got signed with Pittsburgh. And he's absolutely shat the bed uh, in this case. So, no, we picked up uh, Bruce Evans. He's now our coach. We won our first game. I'll shoot, I'm going to show you guys the lines. Uh, because, and I said this in the last episode, Taylor Hall is not a second line forward. But he fit on the second line with the other coach. Now he fits on the first line perfectly. Perfect. Wow, this is not. It was. This is not doing good with the green screen. He now fits on the first line perfectly, uh, with Nemesikov and Palmieri. Now, the only reason why this is a zero right now is that because we had an injury. I do believe that's Chris Tierney's injured, right? Chris Tierney and Philippe Deneau are injured. So once those two come back, we'll kind of get the idea of our full lineup, right? Uh, but right now, that's what we want, and we're happy with that plus three. We want that plus three, right? Does it already show me Deneau with the new coach? Deneau fits on the third line, and Chris Tierney. Is also the third line. So what do we got on our third line here? Oh, we have Boquist. Okay, that's not bad. Well, we'll, we'll see how it all fits out. But overall, not bad. Uh, but th that's it, really. That's basically it. That's all we have to. That's all we kind of went over at the end of the last episode. Also, I'd like to add that we have uh, we fired old scouts and we hired new ones based on the region. Uh, simply, was I supposed to move one of them? I think I was, right? I was. Uh, I was going to move, uh, change region. I was going to move this guy. Was it the Europe? Was he good at Europe? What the hell is he good at? Uh, no, I was going to switch him to the Alskivan uh, or whatever his, whatever his, that league is. Because he has an A plus there. That's Nordic. But there's one goalie. Why would I want to send him to a league that has one goalie? Okay, you know, I'm keeping him at Liga. Because, like, what's the point? What's the point of sending him to scout a goalie? Um, and all these guys are chill as well. We actually do not have a US East. I might actually just hire a US East if I can here. Let's see. Let's see if I can hire a US East. We will be getting to the games in just a moment, so don't worry about that. Uh, is there any U.S. scout? Oh, they're D. Okay, I'll, I'll wait till next summer. I have to write that down then. But uh, let's keep it going here. We got the first one with this new coach. Obviously, we are a bit back. Um, we are a bit back in the standings. Ten points back of the Golden Knights who are in first in this division. So we got to gather, get some wins together. But we got a nice 4-1 victory over the Wild to start it off. Chris Tierney is back, so we'll see how this line now fits with Chris Tierney. We did have, uh, what's his face here? Walter Guerin come in. 
Uh, did we draft him? Yes, we did. That was 2021. So that, that was after year one we drafted uh, Walter Guerin. But Chris Tierney is allowed to come back, which is good news because I want to see where he could fit on the line. So he does not fit. He, nothing happens wherever he moves. Nice. Very nice there by Chris Tierney. Uh... I'm going to move him just to the second line for right now. Actually, we can do that. I'm going to do that. Okay. Watch that goalie turn out to be a goal. Oh, maybe. Honestly. Well, I never... I want to go back in my NHL franchise mode, and I got to find that goalie that Winnipeg picked up, who was like 5'9". Five, five All right, we hold on for the win. Taylor Hall, two goals. See what it happens when we put Taylor Hall on the top line. I, I, I want to go back and find that goalie who was who was five eight five nine and the Winnipeg Jets picked him up. I and then I remember I checked on him earlier in a later episode, or just before another episode I did, and then he was somewhere else. He was with Calgary or something. I forget his name, but uh, he he wasn't good. Uh, would I take this trade line A to Ottawa and Brent? Nah, I wouldn't. No, yeah, we've been doing all right. Taylor Hall with another goal, man. Neil Neal right out to December. Don't like that at all. Back comes Walter, unless there's someone else now, Walter. Spoon and plate. Buser will go down there. Oh, does this mean I have to do this? Yep. Great. You gotta love it. Um, put like Chris Tierney out there. There you go. I want to do this. Put Chris, where is he ranked? I don't know. Maybe I, I, I might look it up here. Um, hang on. Just one moment. <laughs> I'm moving Chris Tierney to the four-man power play. Hang on. Let, let's see. Let, let, let's, let's, see. let's see where this goalie's ranked. That, yeah. Let me see it. All right. Uh, he's ranked 890th. He actually has decent stats. Holy cow. Look at this. Maybe I should send that scout there. Oh. He's, look at this. He's 5'11". Look how small he is. He's got decent stats. You know what? Let, let's... Let's... <laughs> Why am I, like, breathing really poorly right now? Okay, let's... let's let's You know what? Let's go. Let's go Hornquist. Hornquist is actually our best overall scout. That's not good. That's not good when our best scout... Uh, uh, where, no, no, I wanted, uh, you know, it's one guy, so, no, I'll send, I'll send him, I'll, I'll send Nordquist out there. Let's, 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 you know, let's go, let's just have a good laugh and move him there. Uh, and then I'll let the game do, a ma do its magic. I'll check back in a couple of minutes, or a couple of games. So... So we're, we're slowly making our way back to 500 here. It's very, we're actually, this division's very close. We have 19 points. Edmonton has 25. Pick him in the seventh round. No, that's six. Curtis Douglas is getting too many goals for a guy on the fourth line. I don't know what's going on there. 890, 890. That's not even like, I, I think, how many picks are in, are in the draft? 205, two, like 210 max, I think. I think. I think like there's about there's about like I'm gonna go max there's two ten. There's not more than two hundred and ten picks in the draft. So that means that Buddy is picked in like the <laughs> the terrible draft. Jesus. Uh this field the no fit no. Wow, so we really do not we need a second line forward. <laughs> we really do need a second line forward, Christ. Um I feel like Deneau's a center, so he should be technically here. Chris Tierney goes here. There we go. We really do need that second line forward, do we? Yeah, we do. But well, it seems like we're working right now, so it's working out so far. And uh, if we look at the standings here, we, we're creeping our way up. 
creeping our way up here. We got well, look at the Capitals, 16, 4, and 1 in the first uh, couple in the first 21 games here. Wow. And it's bloody Ovi, ain't it? Yep. Look at this. It's always Ovi, man. Every time we've played Ovi in some type of shape or form, we always lose against him. I mean, we got the best of him, I think, later on in the uh, Senators' career mode. But early on, man, it was always Ovi. Ovi in Florida, Ovi in Washington. He did score a hat-trick on us nearly every game. Another goal for Taylor Hall. Oh, we blew it. Can we get the shootout win? Nope. So we blew that game. Nice, but Taylor Hall again with two goals. First line, Taylor Hall, man. It's going to be, this is something special here. Brent Pesci's out to December 5th. It's November 27th. Okay, that's not that bad. Um, just bring in Matt Roy. Matthew Roy. 3-1-1. One, one. So back-to-back -back losses here. Not bad. But we did get a point in our last game there. So that should be alright. Now we gotta play the Coyotes. Where are we now? Now we're still sitting back. This division is close. The top team has 29. The bottom team has 20. This is very, 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 very close. Ah. Didn't get that one. All right, let's let's go. Let's go check on that goalie. I, I I sent the scout to Sweden, basically, or the second league in Sweden. They better have, or or it's just northern. I think it's northern. Uh, it's like northern. Um, Jesus, can't speak. I think it's just northern Sweden and Finland. That's the league. Uh, Casp, not. I keep saying Casper Douglas. Not Casper Douglas. Not Casper Douglas, bro. Oh, boy. Uh, Nino Nino Riders coming in back again. Uh, well, this is fantastic. We have too many, like, decent players. Because um, this means... All right, now we have a problem here because we got... Who's our center? Huh. I'm trying to figure this out here. I think this is fine. I mean, though, the thing is about Nemesikov, though, is that he's not a first-line forward, but he, he's, or he's, his overall is not first-line, but it's, it is what it is. But I'm fine with keeping it like this. I might, I might need to look for a second-line forward, though. We do need that second-line forward, which I look, I might look into. All right, let's check out that goalie, because I want to see... If his if his if he's gone up in the scouting ranks here, it's really a, a lot of it's really early to look at all the other players, but he's okay. So he's a hybrid goalie. Uh, he's looking at his strengths and weaknesses, or he should no scout him more. What are you doing? Scout player, yeah, Norinquist. Uh, let's go with. Uh, Let's go with the potential in comparison. Let, let, let's see. Let's see how that looks, okay? Let's see. Let's see how that overall looks. I want to get this goalie full for some reason. I want to now get this goalie in full. See how much we can get him. Taylor Hall is over a point per game. I have never seen that with him on this team. And we, we're falling into a little bit of a rut here. Taylor Hall once again gets a goal. But... Um, a little bit of a rut here over the past couple of games, not going to lie. There's Terrell Hatcher, our first-round pick from last year's draft. As we're falling even more here, heading into December. Brent Pesci's back. Another thing, too, is, you know, this team, I know it's decent. Like, I'm not saying it's a good team, but it's decent. And at some point, we're going to have to determine if we're going to sell or not. What about rest of the world? Oh, God, I don't want to look there. Let's see. They barely have rest of the world. I remember it used to be something. Yeah, there's no one. They don't, they never have people from the rest of the world. Oh, oh good Peterson. Alrighty. New York Islanders now. They also have a mediocre season. And there's, an, there's a win there. Philippe Dano. Brandon Saab with the goals. Nice. Get in. 
there's Kit. That's that's our goalie, I think, eh? Taylor Gauthier. I believe that's the goalie. So, yeah, like, we're nine points back. But we're not far from a playoff spot. So how many points? We got 24. You need 27 points to make the playoffs here. Like, we really, really, like, we're not far from... <laughs> Like, we're not, like, I'm not even saying, like, we're, we're close to tanking. Like, we're not a team that should be tanking. We're just, we're, we're, good win there, Taylor Hall with another goal. Like, we're just, our division's just so close. You know what I mean? Like, look, look, we're three points out from a playoff spot, and we have a losing record. It's either our division's crap this year, or it's just, like, no, that's it. That's our division's crap because usually the Pacific's hard. Oh, here, here's gonna be a good game, Edmonton versus us, and uh, we lost three nothing. Well, that's great. McDavid didn't even score against us. McDavid didn't get a goal. And Mikhail Sergachev is out till January sixth. It is December eighth, so he's out for a month. Well, that's great because there goes Hornquist's partner right there. And comes Matt Roy. Which where does where does Matt Roy even fit? Oh, right there. Okay, switching with Brent Pesci. All right, back with the Habs. Playing the Habs once again. I think this is once again. I don't know. Actually, I don't think this would be. Because how many games are through the season? Because we, we reset around Christmas. And we don't win against the Habs. Wow, we blow that one late. Jesus. I don't know what's on with this team, man. This this Nolan Pushnor guy, he's trying to make the team, and he keeps getting injured. Tanner Pearson for third and let's let's look at this. I know my voice just cracked. Let's look. Let's look. What, what can, can can Tanner Pearson fit on our second line? He fits on our bottom six. What's his overall eighty three? We do not want another eighty three overall player. Uh, we need more of a second line forward. Uh, Silvu play. Um, you know, I think at the end of December, we'll look at some trades. We'll keep going until December, and then once uh, January hits, we'll shop around for some second-line forwards. Can we get the shootout win? No. So there's another shootout overtime loss for us. We haven't had... A, we've had only three of those losses, but we haven't won much in overtime, I don't think, at all. I don't think our record's all that great. But that's three straight losses for us. We've we've been a bit of a dark area right now. Taylor Hall's a bit died off a bit here. Can we get this shootout win? Yes, sir, we do. Taylor Hall gets the shootout winner, but doesn't uh, doesn't count towards his goals, so it's too bad there. No, I, I honestly, right now, the way that we're looking right now is the team. Oh, we're at the start. We're restart. We reset the schedule now because remember we started with Toronto, then we went to Dallas and Ottawa. Oh, look at that. Taylor Hall got his goal, but Paul Mary with two. Wow, good stuff there. Um, I I see this team the way we are right now is probably like edge of the playoffs, barely getting in. That's the way I see it right now. Although, besides one and two in our division. If we look at it right here, if you look at right here, Oilers and Golden Knights, even like, but look, Kings, Canucks, Kings, Canucks, like, actually, like, even besides the Oilers, everyone, we could catch any one of these teams for sure. We just have to get on a little bit of a run here, get a few two pointers, and uh, Taylor Hall with the hat trick. Shootout. We get the shootout. Taylor Hall got the hat trick there. Nice. See what happens when you put him on the first line. It's got really dark out, and now I've gone really dark, and I do not want to turn on my light because as soon as I turn on my light, my white sweater is just going to be... It's just going to be my head. All right. We got Ottawa now. We're back to 500. I still don't understand how Ottawa has... They brought back Mike Kaufman. This game is not realistic to the real thing in the slightest. So now we have a little bit of a Christmas break. So let's go through that. We're still sitting out of the playoffs by one point. Tyler Toffoli, interesting. Oh, I always, I, I, I press, I press that way first. I press that way, and eighty-two fits on. No, I don't want bottom six. I want second line. 
Like, honestly, I'm up for trading Zach Whitecloud. Who the hell are you? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, no. Nah, I'm chill. All right, we're almost at the we're almost at January here. I will actually uh, what after we're done these three games, I'll go check back up on our our goalie in Sweden there. You got the win there, nice. I'll go check up on our goalie in Sweden and then look at some players. Possibly uh, that we car is getting stolen. Uh, that we could go check on our second line. But Mikhail Sergachev is back now in the lineup, so that's good. Uh, Matt Roy. But yeah, no, th this is... I don't know what's going on this year. Like, I, I don't even know if I want to label this as a down year for this team. Like, we just had a bad start. That didn't help. So we were going to play Vegas. This is actually a big game here for us against Vegas. The Vegas has been on a little bit of a downfall as of late. Taylor Hall, two goals. And there it is. Another two-goal night for Taylor Hall. Jesus. Taylor Hall's on a roll this year, man. Speaking of not resembling the game in the slightest, look at this. Buffalo. 24-9-3. Are you mad? You really think that would be Buffalo's record? So we went here. We actually are back in the playoff. We're in the playoff picture if we win this game here. Oh, that's not happening. Nope. Uh, Tim, wait, Buffalo. Oh, yeah, Tim, Bu Buffalo is Tim Stutzler. Well, we did not win the game, obviously. Uh, we'll play this next one against the Jets, and then we'll do the whole thing because it's back-to-back. -back. Um, or how long is it till four? Uh, I don't know if I want to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm debating if I wanted to do it at 41 games halfway through the year. Oh, nice comeback win there. Chris Tierney with two goals. Game winner, Chris Tierney. You know you know if you know about GWG Tierney, baby. If you know about GWG Tierney, it's a legend right there. Um, all right, no, no, no. You know what we'll do? We'll go to 41 games, and then we'll go do all that, just to make sure we're halfway through the year. It's gotten darker outside. Taylor Hall, no goals in this game, but we still get the 5-2 win over Anaheim. Um, so, so I'm actually happy we changed our coach. Because, honestly, if I really think about it, yes, he's better. Or Bruce Evans is probably not as good as a coach as um, Belanger. But at the same time, he had Taylor Hall on the second line, which is just not okay at all. Uh, all right, so this is going to be... No, we have two more games. And then we have our 41st game. Come back here against yes, nice comeback, and we lose in overtime. That's okay. It was Dali and Net. Hornquist got a goal as well. Hornquist has been also great on the first line there as well. Sergachev, they've been great. All right, we play this next one here against Pittsburgh, and that is 41. That's halfway through the year. Uh, even though it's a double header, we'll still take a little pause here, heading into Colorado. But look, we're playing the Pittsburgh Penguins, who have not done well since the firing Bruce Evans. Still. Um, Case in point, we win. Taylor Hall gets an empty netter to get his goal. So, we move. All right. So, I think every team's at 41. So, what we'll do right now is that we'll, I think we'll do halfway through the season stats, uh, standings. And at the same time, we got to check out our guy here uh, in the all of it that I've literally sent my scout to do uh, to, to look at him for. Uh, he's an AHL starter. Um, I'll get P uh, Pearson. Not Peterson as Stuart Peterson. Uh, he is a listed as a AHL starter. Lack size, understandable. He's 180 and he's 5'11". Rebound control and angles. He has five years to be an AHL starter. That is his whole potential. I might draft him just for the jokes. Actually, let me go view draft. I might, I might just draft him for the jokes, but overall... Um, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'll get, I'll get, uh, Pearson will be, uh, will be a good goalie. 
uh, for this team. All right, I'll move him back because that it's just mean if I have to uh, keep him there when he's already scouted every player in the Alskovskan. Al Alskovskan? I always say it wrong. Uh, we'll move him. We'll move him down here to La Liga. La Liga or no SHL? He's going to the SHL, I guess. I don't even know what he, if I sent him to the right spot. I definitely didn't because I think he's good in Liga. Um, all right, number one. Let's check out some halfway stats. Uh, so currently we're in our worst season yet out of the out of the three we've done. Uh, although we are sitting in a playoff spot. Funny enough, uh, it's going to be really much of a race. Honestly. I'm saying this now, although every time I've said it, it never worked out in the Ascent screen mode. I think we still have a chance to catch the Oilers. Like, they're not far. It's six points. Uh, we could we could collect six points very quickly in this league. Um, so, and the way this season's going, though, honestly, I could see us possibly getting first, and I could see us possibly not even making the playoffs. So, it's, it's, it's so weird right now. Our power play stinks. Our penalty kill is actually great. Look at the Oilers' penalty kill. Christ, 92%. That has to be one of the highest ever. Uh, we're actually better on the road than we are at home. Fair enough. All right. Taylor Hall, though, 44 points. This guy has been on a run since putting him on the first line. Uh, Brendan Sod's there as well. Look at this. Uh, Magnus Hornquist, 24 points. How many did he have his rookie year? He's, his rookie year, he had 39. He definitely should be able to get up to uh, 40 or plus. Taylor Hall... I think in this first year, he had eight, yeah, 85 points in his first year. He's on pace for, to get over that as well. So I'm very, very pleased with how Taylor Hall's been doing this year on the first line. Goalies. Hope he's still got the numbers, just his record. It didn't help him out to start the year. But so hope he's doing all right. The team just has to go, like I said, a bit on a run. All right, one thing I want to look at before we um, move forward is, is there possibly a second line forward that we could pick up the – Excuse me, help out our second line because we definitely need it. Um, max age. I'm going with, I don't know. Uh, let's go 32 max age. Minimum age don't matter. Um, salary two years, so I don't get. I mean, it could be a rental, I guess, but uh, I want to keep the rental in case he's good. I went the wrong way for overall because that's going to take forever to get up to. Uh, I'm, I'm saying around like an 83, another 83 for sure, and I'm going to go as high as a 86. That's what I'm going to go with. All right, there's 65 results here. Um, remember, they do kind of have to fit our, our uh, forward line four. Colin White would not work on our second forward line. We need a player that can fit on our second line. Braden Shen, bottom six, that won't do. Brock Besser, none, that won't do. Um, Henry Bro, no, fourth line, no. Where's second line? We need second line players. Connor Brown, there is Connor Brown on the second line. Uh, Jordan Greenway, top six. Actually, Jordan Greenway wouldn't be that bad. I like Connor Brown, though, and even Jaden Schwartz. How's Connor Brown been doing? He's actually been putting up some points as well. Connor Brown is a you know what, let's see, let's see if we could trade for Connor Brown. Let's see. Let's let's go with a trade for Connor Brown. I think I remember trying Connor Brown. He's got no oh, I remember his dumb contract as well. I don't want that. Uh, I don't know if I want Connor Brown with his dumb contract though. Oh. Who can I give away? I don't want I know I don't want to give away if you leave that no. It's going to be a forward for sure, I'll tell you that. Um, Nino Niederreiter, Brendan Saad. Like, who do I give away here? I mean, Nino Niederreiter's kind of got a duke. We actually have really got some terrible contracts for this team. Chris Tierney, I'm going to have to re-sign. I want to keep Philippe Deneau. Um, Ballquist, I want to keep. Jason Dickinson, maybe? Like... Maybe we go Dickinson then a pick, but it can't be like our first round pick. I don't want a first round. I don't want to give away our first, our third next year. Um, who else could we give away? Um, they want Taylor Hall. No way. Um, 
What did, the, what did they have? What did the stars have that we could take from them as well? Uh -huh. they, ain't go, they don't got much. Let's go look at um, Jaden Schwartz here. Because I feel like Jaden Schwartz would be a decent pickup as well. Because... Uh... Oh. Let's see. That was by trade value, wasn't it? No. Um, you know what? I might. You know what I might even do here is I might lower down the um, age to, from 32. Let's go uh, 28. Let's go 28. Let's see 28. How many results now? 37. All right, let's go. So the more of the younger guys are going to be high overall, yeah, like that. Um. What about Oliver Wallstrom? Uh, bottom six. I don't want bottom six. Uh, what do we got? Elias Lindholm. Elias Lindholm fits on the second line. That'd be good. Uh, we'd have to give up probably a lot for him. Uh, Kaze as well. That'd be nice. He's top six, so we have no clue where he could fit. Uh, let's let's see what we could do for Lindholm. We'll do, uh, I don't know. I want. Um, Lindholm does not score though, which I don't know. What, what, look at his stats: two goals, twenty-seven assists. What the? Um, just seeing here if there's another Christian Dvorak. Now, all right. Let's go. Let's look at uh, Lindholm. Even though he doesn't score, let's see if they would. If they, they, uh, they. <laughs> They'd want something for Lindholm. Um, I think we'd have to go with one of our better forwards, which might have to be like a Tierney here or a Rust. How? What has Rust done this year? Eight seventeen. That's actually not bad. Uh, you know, need a rider. Although he has missed time, he's kind of flopped this year for us. So let's see, Nina Ryder there. I'm gonna have to give away another pick for sure. Could give away the uh, the Devils' second rounder this year. That's for sure. Um, what do they have? Because I could give away another Ford if they if they have another Ford for me. Uh, let's see. No. Okay. I tried. So uh, would this would this make sense? No. Okay. Let, let's see if we could offer them one more pick. Let's let's just see if we could like kind of boost this up. A six rounder. Let's give this six six rounder. No. Okay. What about a third rounder next year? I don't really care about third rounders next year. Come on, please. No. Okay. I'm just trying out here, boys. I'm just trying out here to see if we can get anything. Anything that we can get is grateful. Um. What about Andre? Andre Kaze. He's a sniper. He could score some goals. If he plays on our second line, it'd be nice. So this would be have to be... Oh, for God's sake. This would be like the same thing. Like We're going to have to give away uh, Nita Ryder. Let's go Nita Ryder. And let's do the same thing. Second round pick for New Jersey. God dang it. This looks even enough. Let's see. There they go. They take it. All right. So we lost Nino Niederreiter, but we picked up Andre Kaze, which will hopefully boost the scoring for this team. Uh, we do have to add the lines, though. So there we go. And he does not boost anything on this line. Woo! Or where does he? Where does he fit? I mean, he actually makes that a plus three. He keeps he keeps the top line a plus three, which actually is nice. So we're still missing that second line forward, but uh, there we go. There, so we lost uh, Nino Nino Rider, but uh, 
We move on here with Andre Kaze. I'm, I keep forgetting we have Sean Corrali on the team. He's like such the most, he's the most like straight up forgettable player on this team. So we picked up Andre Kaze, which to be honest, I thought would help the second line, but it, it doesn't make sense in this game. Anyways, here we go. So we're back at it. We're going to be back playing games. we got another half hour to go here. We'll probably go up to the trade deadline. But let's see. First game with Andre Kaze in Colorado. Let's see. And we almost came back, but uh, didn't work out. Dalia was in net for that one. So it was the second night of the back-to-back. -back. And Taylor Hall's out till January 18th. And it's January 10th. So, well, that's just great. Good thing I have two Fords here that are primed and ready. Funny enough, Douglas fits on the first line, but that is not going to happen. Uh, let's move Rust up to the top line. And funny enough, that makes the bottom line. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to have to switch all this out, don't I? Yep, because this is a great game. I'm going to put Douglas there just because when he leaves, Taylor Hall can take his spot back. But Curtis Douglas. And we got to go to extras. Got to go to three on three. Put Douglas in there. Woohoo, gotta love the game, man. When I say just switch out on all lines, that doesn't mean all lines. Alrighty. So Taylor Hall's gonna lose some games here with his points. That sucks. But, uh. There we go. Against Calgary. Calgary now. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, also, please leave a like on the video. And uh, Kaze got the goal there. Kaze got two goals. Cha Ching, and so does Curtis Douglas. Big ups. Uh, and also, if you click the link down in the description below, you're able to join the Discord server uh, that we have. You can get stream alerts, stream schedules every week, every stream. Mostly every stream, I should add. Um, so click the link if you want to get that. And we lose to the, once again, Dalia. Dalia has not caused a score, but Dalia has been maybe the most inconsistent backup we had. Remember two years ago when he's been all right. And now he's just been garbage. So, Taylor Hall's back. So maybe we go for a, a different backup goalie next year. Because I think I signed him for maybe one more year. There we go. All our lines are back together now. So we're going to be heading on to play Nashville. But we're at home playing Nashville here. We got we got a bit of a homestand here against Nashville, LA, and uh, Vancouver. And we uh, blow that one. Andre Kaze, though he since he's since he's joined this man, he's been on fire, scoring goals, and we're falling off the standings here, which I do not like. All right, LA, this is a big one. These next two are big because they're both against divisional opponents. And we lose to LA. 18 shots. They had 18 shots, and we had 46, and we couldn't beat Vilata. Vilata, are you serious? Are you serious? 18 shots. We couldn't get one. It's starting to get bright out. I, here goes my sweater. So back-to-back -back losses. Now we got to play Vancouver. See how much we've dropped here. John Gabriel Peugeot for Hull and Brodine. Pitts on our top six lines. He's done nothing all year. He has a crap contract. But who who would who would go up on our defense if this is who 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 would join the defense if this is the case? Because we'd lose defense. Who'd we have? We'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. We would have McCoshin come up. And then Walford would be our backup. Oh my days. What the hell? Do we make this deal? Like, Brodine's been awful this year. And Hull's been on the back line, but like... 
Brodine's been just straight awful this year. I can tell you that 100%. Look at his plus minus. His points as well. Garbage. For Pajo, who's got four years left on a $5 million deal, who's 30. No, I'm not taking that deal. That that's that's too risky of a deal. So we've fallen off here in the standings because of back-to-back -back losses when against the gate teams who we should beat. Uh, see, this is what I mean. Like I could say, like I, I could see us winning the win, uh, winning the division, and then I could see us blowing the division. Uh, there's a uh, Hall getting a goal. Taylor Hall back on the power play getting a goal. So now we head into the all-star break. So we should be able to finish up the month of February here. And honestly, if we could get the end, if we could get the end of, um, if we could, if we could get up to the trade deadline, finish the trade deadline, I don't know who we're going to be trading away. We might have to sell. I might sell Dalia. Not going to lie. A, wow, look at this shootout. This shootout went for a while. Jeez. Um, if I could, if I, I might give away Dalia. Not gonna lie, I'm keeping Holpi for sure. Uh, Giovanni Smith is injured, and what I might do is, um, because I would bring up Gotye as our backup. Uh, Joey Keane. That looks like Roy Keane. Uh, I don't want you. Um, for Leek and Jimmy Howard for Bro, they really want Brodeen here at New York, bro. What the hell? Actually, Froelich's not been that bad. He fits the top line. How how long is this deal? He'd be a he'd be a rental actually. We get picks from him too. Interesting. And we get Jimmy Howard, who's 81 overall. How's he been? He's actually been not bad as a backup. He actually was decent. All right. You know what? How long's his contract? One year. You know what? I'm gonna accept this trade. Uh, move down. That's fine. Garen gets moved down. That's fine with me. So here comes Michael Froelich now. Listen, here's the idea, right? We have three goalies on our roster with Holpi, Dalia. I think now it would be a good time that we get rid of Dalia. Uh, what would this mean, though, for our forwards then? Because we would have. I need to see the lines. I need to see the lines, that's for sure. So Jonas Berdine is now gone. So that means that. Um, Roy should come in. So we got Froelich, Roy, and Douglas. So someone's going to have to come off here. What? Um, so let's see. Sh Corrali. Let's go with Sean Corrali, who's done absolutely nothing, really. All year. Let's bring him on for Froelich. Froelich apparently fits on the top pairing here. No, he doesn't. Well, this is just great. Great. I made a trade which I thought would help our lineup, but I guess it didn't. And now Chris Tierney's down on the bottom line. Man, you gotta love it. Look, even fits on our top line, but why does it make it a plus one? No, why is that a zero? Oh my god. Man, you gotta love it. You gotta lo you gotta love when the game tells you they fit the top three lines and then they don't. Like Now I just want to ship for a leak out of here. I'm mess. I am. This is. I am doing this to the team. Really, it's not even the game doing. It. It's me. You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Not Jason Dickinson. He ain't going nowhere. It's gonna be Fro Leak, bro. 
Froleek's heading out. I thought Froleek would help. Froleek's not helping. I'm, I'm swapping him. One thing that actually has to happen, though, uh, is we have to go to roster moves here. And we have to uh, bring up a defenseman. Because we do not have a backup defenseman. Which, the next one is Walford or Makoshin. But I'll bring up Walford. Actually, to keep Walford growing, I'll keep him up. And then, what the hell are you talking about? No, I have to make a trade. Well, so our goal here, as now we're going to make a trade, is um, Dalia. Uh, and Froleek. I gotta find a trade for Froleek and Dalia. And the idea with this one uh, is picks. Uh, third round, ninth round. Jason Spezza. Two third rounders. Zeit seven a fifth. From Ottawa. I mean, it would fix our defensive dilemma here. What's 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 the idea with Zaitsev here? He fits on our second penalty kill line, so that ain't going to work. Unless we get, like, a young guy that could, uh... Unless we get a young player that can like be grown, like a Mc uh, Ryan McLean, he's a low top six. Uh, I might take Edmonton's three and three here, even though it's for a leak. I'll, you know what? There you go. Take him, take him, Edmonton. Um, and then goalie wise, look how many goalies we got. Like we got way too many goalies, way, way, way too many. Um, Seventh rounder, Colin D'Elia. Um, go to Montreal. I know I have unfilled lines. Um, that being said, we'll go to edit lines. Um, we'll go into the goalies and we'll pick up Jimmy Howard as our goalie. So we got that. Uh, that being said, now we have... Only Curtis Douglas as our backup forward, so I'll bring up Makoshin through the roster moves. There you go. See, that's just using your brain right there. And he'll be the backup defending. Or the backup defender, alright? Man, do our lines suck here. Jesus. Um, as I move my entire green screen and try and move. Our, our lines just suck here. Like, look, and the defense too, man. All right, let's get back into the games here. We've switched up the team a bit. We thought Michael Froelich would help. That was not the case. It's too bad. I wanted him to, but uh, it didn't work. So here we go. And we lost to uh, Minnesota. Justin Hall now. No, I'm not getting rid of my defense. Unless we just blow up the entire thing and then just... <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Nice comeback win there against San Jose. Kaze with the goals. Two goals by Kaze there. Very good, very good. And Taylor Hall is out till February 11th. Woohoo. You gotta love it. So in comes Curtis Douglas. And uh, and here it is again. I have to put him on the power play because we, when I say put on all lines, it doesn't mean don't put on all lines. Mm. 
All right, here we go. Yannick Weber. All right, fair enough. Giovanni Smith is back. So Taylor Hall's fallen off. That I think that's due to his injury. If Taylor Hall never got injured or is now injured twice, uh, he'd probably still be on that that race for points per game. Did Russ do that hat trick here? He did. Brian Russ gets put on the top line. Gets a hat trick, but as soon as you take him off with Taylor Hall, and now Curtis Douglas is out till, with a concussion. Wow. Now we're just getting the injuries all over the place. And the funny thing is, is that all we have is we have to call up some players. And then we have to replace, because it's Curtis Douglas, we have to put them on the power play now. This game sucks. Uh, do we break it? You know what? Call up Pushnor, man. Pushnor's coming up. Our first round pick of our draft a couple of years back is finally going to get to play a game. In the NHL. He's a center. Pusher. Or I think he's Nolan Pusher. But I keep saying Push Nor. Um, sure. He, he'll fit there. Oh, guess what? I have lines to fill in the power play. Because, because when I say replace on all lines, it doesn't make sense. I know I keep whining about it, but it's true. It's so stupid. Uh, this this will just go until they're back. So I'm not too worried about... Ah, this is all going anyways. Honestly, I was hoping they would get to the at least the, the trade deadline. But all those picks and the Fro leak trade and all that, that has not been the case uh, at all. Uh, considering... And then the, our injuries here. We actually have a winning record though right now, which is... <laughs> bit odd and we're just we're just hanging outside of playoffs right now i i don't think we catch the oilers but it's definitely going to be a push for who gets third se or second third fourth maybe oh, we tie the game up against new jersey and we lose in overtime or shootout even all right i thought that was someone on the on our seattle team getting injured once again i was like nope i'm just ending the episode I'm not dealing with another injury, man. And Curtis Douglas is available to play, so push nor. Pusher. Nolan Pusher. I'm, I'm going to call him Push nor. He did all right. Well, he's a minus one, but he had two he had, he had penalty minutes. The guy got a penalty. Oh, my days. And obviously, I'll keep him there until uh, Taylor Hall gets back just for uh, injury, injury uh, insurance. It wasn't even Ovi this time that beat us. It wasn't even it wasn't even Ovi. It was John Carlson and Kuznetsov that got us this time, man. Oh my god against the Caps. And then they, oh wow. It's like it's like I was ex not expecting every time we finished the game in the month of February, we had an injury or a trade. So here comes Ian McCoshin, who's been on our team since the start. And uh, he does not fit anywhere. Wow, this this, this guy sucks. Actually, fits actually pretty well. <laughs> Just no one wants to play with him. Uh, Christopher McKinnis is back. It should give me Taylor Hall sooner or later. Come on. No, we got one more game without Taylor Hall. Okay. Here, let's get a win back here. Let's see if we can end this episode on a high note. Well, that's just a great start right there. Wow. Wow. Fantastic play there by Braden Holpe. Jesus. Oh my days. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I like. I, I don't even want. That's three back to back to back losses. And now we're out of the playoff position once again. We badly need Taylor Hall, man. We, we, we need Taylor Hall so badly. It's, it's, it's disgraceful. Don't worry, we got our plus three back there on the top line now. Come on, let's win a game. Oh my god! Oh I'm, no, we're not. We're not making the playoffs. If we if we somehow make the playoffs and then do good, I'm gonna be surprised. Look how close we are. We're blowing it here. We have with three straight losses.
three straight losses and we're blowing it. We're blowing it. So who's available to play now? Goulet? Okay. So I'll bring Pushnor back. I'll bring Pushnor back and then I'm just going to end the episode because I, I need this game. This game needs a rest. This game needs a rest badly. Like it badly needs a rest. It needs it needs the game. It needs us to breathe. What? No, forwards. I need forwards. Uh, push now will go down. Alrighty. Well, I think that will do it for me today. Um, well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with this team going forward. I literally have no clue. Uh, because we are five points out of a playoff spot. Uh, and we've blown four straight games in a row. Not blown them, but we've lost four straight. And uh, we have the trade deadline coming up. So I don't know what to do. Uh, I've been trying to get a second line forward this entire season. This game sucks at telling me what, who is a second line forward on our team and not. Um, I don't know. If we make the if, Honestly, if we don't make the playoffs... The funny thing is, is that we're going to have such a high record. We're going to have some, a high amount of points. We're not going to get a really decent lottery pick unless we get super, super, super lucky. So it's like, what, like it's either make the push for the playoffs, which we could definitely still, we're still in the push for the playoffs, even though we're seventh in the division, like you see right here. Uh, or else it's like high draft pick, high uh, lottery draft pick, which is rare to get first overall. So what's the, what's like... It's really, what do we want to fight for, you know? All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, once again, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're new, please leave a like on the video. I'm, just, I'm, ending, I'm ending this actually early. I could go for a couple more games. Uh, but, no, this game needs a rest. This game definitely 100% needs a rest. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. Once again, like I said, subscribe, leave a like. Please click the link down in the description below to join the Discord server. And I will actually see you guys... I think on Monday. I'll see you guys on Monday uh, when we come back with a FIFA 21 career mode. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys.